Harry Hates Shopping by Rhonda and David Armitage, read by Grandpa Tom. We're going shopping today, Mother Koala announced at breakfast. She smiled at Harry and Matilda. I don't want to go shopping, growled Harry. I hate shopping. I don't, said Matilda. I just love it. I'm going to buy some new boots, red ones with plaid laces and furry insides. I'm not sure about red, dear, said Mother. They might not have red. A nice brown pair would be more sensible. Koalas look very stylish and brown. I'm sorry about the shopping, Harry, but you really do need new school shoes. No, I don't, protested Harry. There's nothing wrong with my white sneakers. They're fine. Mother Koala sighed. If you're both very good, we'll have lunch after we're done shopping. Matilda danced along the sidewalk. Harry trudged behind. Suddenly, Matilda fell over. Mom! she wailed. Harry tripped me. He stuck out his foot and tripped me. Harry, said Mother, what's the matter with you? Do you have to be such a pain? Matilda is being a pest, said Harry. All that skipping and dancing, she's such a show-off. Mother sighed. First they went to the drug store. Matilda pinched Harry while Mother was buying toothpaste. Mom! Harry yelled. Next they went to the bakery. Harry pinched Matilda while Mother was buying rolls. Mom! Matilda cried loudly. Mother marched Harry and Matilda outside. If you two don't stop arguing, she growled, I'm going to get really angry. At last they reached the department store. One more word out of either of you, said Mother, and I don't know what I might do. While Mother was busy looking at some new t-shirts, Harry stuck his tongue out at Matilda. Mother, wailed Matilda, Harry's being horrible again. He's making faces at me. And then she stopped and stared at her mother. Mother Koala had picked up a pair of very large purple bloomers. They were all shiny with big pink spots and squiggles on them. She held them up in front of her and began to sing in a loud, tuneful voice. Purple bloomers, purple bloomers, oh, how you shine and glow. Purple bloomers, purple bloomers, I will never let you go. Harry turned bright red and dived under a chair. Mom, hissed Harry, stop that, everybody's looking, please stop. Matilda's eyes opened wide. She hid behind the counter. Mother Koala went right on singing, and while she sang, she danced. Psst, Mom, whispered Matilda. You're embarrassing us. Please stop. Mother smiled at Matilda and waved at Harry. I'll take these purple bloomers, she said to the salesperson. How much are they? Now, children, said Mother, it's time to buy shoes. Harry and Matilda crept out of their hiding places. They didn't say a word. That was fun, said Mother. I've always enjoyed singing. The shoe store didn't have red boots. The salesman suggested a bright green pair instead. I don't want those, said Matilda. They don't have plaid laces and furry insides. Harry found a pair of boots that he really liked. I'm sorry, young man, said the salesman. But we don't have those in your size. How about this nice brown pair? I don't like those, growled Henry. Matilda looked as if she were going to cry. Very slowly, Mother opened her package. Very carefully, she unwrapped the tissue paper. Very quietly, she began to sing. I think maybe I do like these green boots after all, said Matilda. Actually, I think they're very nice boots. She tied up the laces. Yes, said Harry quickly. I'll try on the brown boots. They'll be very, very nice for school. I agree, said Mother as she paid the bill. They are very, very, very nice boots. They had a delicious lunch in the coffee shop at the top of the store. Matilda smiled at Harry. Harry smiled at Matilda. What lovely children I have, said Mother Koala. And she smiled happily at both of them. The end.